It's your boy Dokin Asset here, and today I'm joined with Gotcha Talks and Ignit. Introduce yourselves. What's up, guys? My name is Ignit. I have to be here. Hi, hi everybody. <laughs> I think Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Grand Cross. Another Dokin Battle video. Let's get into it. This video is already off to a fantastic start. Hello, everybody. <laughs> All right, so yes. <laughs> yo, I I gotta give the whole chat a red nose right now, bro. Y'all are clowning big time. <laughs> All right, but for real though, yes, like Ignit said, we are here today uh, to discuss the whole situation with the assault Meliodas on Grand Cross. Now I know what you're probably thinking: me covering Grand Cross content? Not possible. But. The reason why I wanted to cover this situation is because A, um, well, I mean, it's just very interesting in terms of just a gotcha game discussion. Um, and also a lot of other behind the scenes things, I suppose, with um, with the company related to uh, this incident. But um, also just what this means for gotcha games at large and kind of just and the over... <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> just what it like why it's a problem right and why it's such a big deal because i know a lot of people um obviously people who are familiar with gotcha games mo like more than just dokkan understand but we want to make you understand why it's a big deal so ignit so we can get a baseline here would you like to under or explain the situation a little bit okay well pretty much uh grand cross global version has always had a track record of doing stupid stuff and they've been having this problem where they release banners just like week after week after week. And it's like, units are really good, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> oh, no, you're good. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so um, the kind of the issue is, from what I've seen, is like, King's banner is like leaving in like a few days. And they're instantly going to slap, boom, Assault Mode Meliodas right after it. Mm -hmm. When there's units like Fat King is in now, uh, Green Easton, which she's kind of past her meta already, so like it's kind of late for her, but like she's still in the game, the Valenti and stuff like that. There's characters they can release that could be like filler banners. Because here's another thing Assault Mode's gonna come out, he's gonna be up for like a week or so, and then we already know the one Escanor is gonna be the anniversary at this point. So it's just like they're rapidly releasing these banners, and then because like they just had the Archangels as well. Like, that was also a big banner. It's like pretty much a must summon because Sariel is like top three units of the game. It could be debated as the best unit in the game, even compared to someone like Escanor. Um, and so they had that banner, then he jumped right into Assault Moon Meliodas. And that's kind of the issue. And it's more so because Global has had plenty of issues. And this is kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. Because also in the dev notes, it said, yo, we're going to calm down on releasing banners. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that part, too. Yeah. And, and, and then they're like, hey, there, let's release more banners. <laughs> Which, I guess you could go ahead and just talk more about it. And I'll just kind of talk about, like, my aspect on it and, like, my experience with Netbarble and stuff like that. Sure. Um, well, Netbarble for... stuck. <laughs> Thank you, gotcha. Obviously, right, um, the fact that not only was it just that they literally lied to their player base's faces, right? Um, of course, and also that doesn't even, um, that's not even taking into account, obviously we don't know how many people would actually summon for it, but isn't there also the um, Stranger Things collab as well that's also in the data of the game? That's in JP, and apparently okay. there's, there's, a, there's a theory that, because apparently like the devs mentioned something, that they're kind of doing that to fool people, because hmm. they're they cut onto the data money stuff. Gotcha. Because there's like four collabs of the data right now. Right. And one of them only makes sense. Like Fate, like Fate has like never done collabs. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, that's it, definitely it, weird. Yeah, so So it, we still don't know that like the standings of that stuff is legit or not. Right, 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 right. <laughs> it's so funny to me that they're literally just like <laughs> trolling people. I don't know. But regardless, um So obviously in general right it's of course a big issue because the big problem is that they are releasing like big banner after big banner after big banner and like ignit said there are plenty of options for filler that they could have definitely included in here and i think another big factor of this and one thing that kind of is like a big wow to me is that because this is a, a pvp based game mainly the fact that they have released some units that have literally already, like, dropped off from the meta is mm -hmm. astounding to me. That they, they're, 
not choosing to release those when clearly people need a little bit of time in between these banners and instead they're just go ahead and, and dropping the big boy units and it, it's clearly just using their fan base um <laughs> literally just milking them for everything that they have um mm -hmm. on global specifically because obviously jp doesn't have this problem gotcha i want to hear from you bro what give me give me your thoughts on the situation yes it's stupid <laughs> well give me more than that <laughs> that marble stupid it sucks <laughs> you know and you know good you know i'm gonna be honest in a way this is cool that you could literally bully a developer but at the same time this is not good <laughs> So this should have never been an issue to begin with. Uh, yeah, like this has never been like for one, it should have never been an issue, and two, this is not a like. It's cool that they decided to do this, but now they just showed how much power people have, and I think that's fine. Which so, like, I'm gonna tell you, the only reason why they're pushing the banner back is because one, Assault Metal Meliodas is a big boy unit, big boy hype unit, and they they want as much money as they can out of, and they see right. people are gonna skip the banner, so like, oh fudge. We ain't gonna get our big boy money, push them back. And then two, uh, their Google Play rating was getting close to like end up getting like the 1.0s. Uh, oh. uh, <laughs> You're good, uh, just keep going. Uh, uh, 1.0s and stuff, which uh, my roommate told me that if an app drops down to like a one star rating, Google Play is known to take them off the app store. And it's, wow. a, it's a pain to get it back on the app store. So then that's even more money they'd be losing. So I guarantee you, it's not, oh, Netmar was a good person. They listened. It's, oh, God, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to lose our money and we're going to get taken off the app store. Let's let's do something. It's not in the kindness of their hearts. It's in the kindness of them, yo, we need your money. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. But regardless, kind of... the reviews are there. It's a very bad moment for them, honestly. <laughs> down like, bad, for sure. Company, yeah, they're definitely still down bad because... At some point, if your game gets like, I think, what, like oh, below a one, they take it off the Play Store, which obviously we didn't get to that point. But I think now, I don't think anybody's going to go back and change their. Uh, <laughs> yeah, probably game. not. The damage is already done because there's people botting those reviews too. Yeah, exactly. Wow. It's still, I don't know, it's still stupid. And the whole situation is stupid. Them pushing out such a hype unit right after King. Especially like out of nowhere, which to be fair, you should have skipped King, but carry on. Yeah, but a lot of people went for King. <laughs> and then you had that new band that came out with the double new characters. I forgot. Uh, Sario and Tarmio, which both are very top tier units. Yeah, yeah. So they just did that, you know, and to drop Assault when there's like, what, like 10 other characters that are supposed to come out before him? Yeah, they're not too hype, but they could definitely still put some of those out before bringing Assault out. I don't know. That's like Dokkan skipping. That's like, okay, that's like 2020 Dokkan skipping like everybody that came out and they're like, you know what, we're just going to give you uh, Gohan before everything comes out. <laughs> like before Gogeta, like no, let me see, who came out in 2020 on Dokkan? You had like, AG, no, AGO Gogeta was 2019. It's like releasing Super 13 before you release any other unit. No, 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 it's like, yeah, it's like that. This is like <laughs> releasing STR Cooler before dropping it, Gohan and... Well, they did put 13 after, but that was a, that, you see, look, just look, even like that, you know, 13s were released. They released the six-year units before they even released LRG. <laughs> There's a better yeah, like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, right. It's very silly on their end, and I'm glad they did fix it. But at the same time, you know, their rep, I feel like, just diminished a lot tonight. <laughs> even more than it already was, because they were yeah. already super down bad. Dokkan asks, can you give us the net marble slang for us? The net marble slang? What do you mean? Yeah. You know, the net marble. Oh, net marble. That? There we go. <laughs> there we go. We right, so is this the part where I go in for like a 20 minute rant and just tell y'all <laughs> why net marble is bad and why this like uh, uh, the YouTubers kind of just saw like this pattern of behavior before like most people kind of behind the scenes stuff? Sure. Go for it, bro. If you want okay, to. So first off, I want to go ahead and talk about why like i'm not surprised so like they had the content creator program right you uh, know this is kind of like behind the scenes info i guess you say because like we've all mentioned that it sucks on stream and stuff but we never really went into detail why and so i might get i don't know if i get sued or something for saying it but i don't know so like they kind of like <laughs> hey you're called bro stay safe they kind of they kind of promises like yo we'll give y'all hoodies for the program we'll give y'all in-game resources and stuff like that uh we'll 
bring you to events and all this stuff. It's like, oh, wow, this is so cool. I can't wait to be in it. And we literally got none of that. Even to this day, the game, like, Global's about to hit a year. And, like, none of that's happened. Those hoodies got put into a tournament. And that's about it, right? So, um, they promised us all those things. And, like, we're also supposed to be able to communicate with them and stuff. And, like, they never, like, responded to a single email any of us sent. As a matter of fact, the first, like, any like communication we got from them at all was them banning me for and like kicking me from the program because i was selling my account on twitter that was the <laughs> first thing they ever sent us right and like my buddy miko he's tried contacting them numerous times like he said email after email after email trying to like tell them issues and stuff they never responded to anything we've all tried contacting them they never responded to anything so like there's that and then like they never gave us details on the program or in it either it's like oh yeah you're just in the program now that's pretty much it so because like the only thing we did get was like gyms every month at Global, which we didn't even know how often the gyms were going to be. They never told us the email they're giving it to us or anything like that. We just woke up one day, oh, look, 100 gyms in your box. And then there's some people that got 30 and some people that got none at all, which we kind of had to discover ourselves after like two months, like there's a tier system to it. And then after the two months, that's when we also realized it was a monthly thing because they never give us a single detail to anything. They're just kind of, you're in the program, here you go. So like they've always had like a bad track track record for us just like lying and just not you know not saying doing what they say they're going to do and stuff like that and just not giving information or like communicating with people right so that's the content creator program so there's still more but like i just don't feel like getting detail there <laughs> no you're good you're and good now, and now here's another thing about the net more so oh let's not mention like they had the bond situation global which i think was way worse than this they had the green lily situation which was way worse than this and like you know stuff like that so like this has kind of just been building up like their reputation should be way worse than what it is for this game um so let me hop into my experience with netmarble with like king of fighters and why this like situation doesn't really surprise me at all because this is such a netmarble move for them to do anyway uh so king of fighters all-star for those that for those that don't <laughs> know the, the jp version of king of fighters was out for like a year and then the global version released. And when the global version released, they kind of just slapped banner, 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 like in the first month. And then they would just, like, there's times where, like, the games, like, this is for both versions of this part. Like, they would have up to, like, four fest units up at a time. What? Uh, um, yeah, they would have, like, four fest banners up at a time occasionally. Like, they would have, like, you literally scroll through, like, ten banners they would have up at, like, one, going on at one time and stuff like that. Like, like I said, this is such a net marvel thing to do. And then, um, uh, this, another thing is, I've always kind of had this theory that they're going to try to sync the games up at some point, because KOF pretty much synced the games up within, like, the first two or three months of it being out, which, keep in mind, JP was a year ahead. So, um, Tekken Collab. Tekken Collab came to JP, King of Fighters, right? And then, after the week of it being out of JP, they bring it, brought us to Global, which, keep in mind, this is, like, huge power creep, because Jin and Kaze are pretty much FEST-level units, but they're pr basically, like, normal rar rarity units. Mm -hmm. Um... So it's huge power creep. They do have PvP, but um, no one really plays it. But um, so a week it was out of JP, and then the next week it was announced for Global 2, and it came out of Global while it's still up in Japan and stuff like that. And then sometimes Global get units first, like Geese Howard, which is also a huge power creep. Uh, he came out of Global first, and then he came out on JP like a week or two later and stuff like that. So I've always kind of assumed that they're going to do that at Grand Cross at some point, which Assault Meliodas, I think, is the closest thing to that so far because he came out, he's literally, like, still out in JP, I think, to this day, like, at this moment. Mm -hmm. And, it's, like, he's been out for, like, a week, and now he's come, he was supposed to come to Global because, you know, they, uh, quote-unquote, fixed it. But, like, I, Net Marble is just such a bad company. No large tried to warn people about it, like, when Global first came out, and he got docs and stuff for it. And, uh, and then here, they are showing, here they are showing their true colors yet again with Netmarble. It's just, Netmarble is just not a very good company. Like, they just have this, like, reoccurring themes of just lying, just trying to milk the players as much as they can. And then they make these stupid announcements, like, oh, we hear your feedback. We're going to push it back. They're like, yeah, Netmarble, go. Netmarble, the best. They're listening. Let's go. Yeah, and then, but, it's like, but it's like, no, it's issues that should not be issued to begin with. And the only reason they ever, quote, unquote, fix it is because they potentially lose money if they don't and that's the only reason why they do anything like uh super awakening super awakening was a huge issue in japan because you had to get so many dupes of the characters just to like super awaken them and stuff and it was just a big issue and then they kind of just released like a hundred dollar pack that was 120 gems and like three of this like free super awakening coins and, which was really bad they had the tower which was supposed to be the free-to-play way to get them 
but you a free to play player this physically could have beat the event like you had to have like super awakened units like four six mi lost fame miliotis which keep in mind it's like a 0 0.25 percent rate unit he's only out like twice oh and uh, <laughs> Yeah, so like if you didn't happen four six, you may as well just like you know, just may as well not even do the tower. And that was supposed to be the free way of getting into the currency. And it was like near impossible with that certain unit. And it's still like that to this day. It's either super mega ultra RNG, or you have the one unit that just mm. destroys the whole thing, right? And um, so they quote unquote fixed it by making it where dupes just make it where you need less coins to awaken. But now at this point, super awakening just shouldn't be a thing. Because at this point, you basically just add like an extra 10 levels of units, it's the same effect, right? So now, is this, you know, they, they have a track record doing really bad things, and they put a band aid over it, as my buddy Choke would say. And then it was like, oh my god, Netbarber, go! They're listening to that. No, is this, is this a recurring pattern? And then they keep doing it, and people just go surprise Pikachu when they keep doing it. And it's just like, it's been here since day one of the game, they've had these issues. <laughs> it's just, it just doesn't make sense to me. So, yeah, so that's, that's kind of my segment. It's just, that Marvel is a bad company, and people just they keep on doing this thing where like they quote unquote listen, and then everyone's like, "Oh my God, Net Marvel's the goat!" Oh! <laughs> <laughs> is there a reason you think that they continue to do this, or that they act like this in the first place? Because they know they get away with it. Because everyone's like, "Oh, Net Marvel's listening to goat." <laughs> so. <laughs> What I don't understand is, like, how do companies not realize that not completely milking their player base and actually listening to what people have to say is better for business? Like, I, I, I don't understand. It seems like there are a lot of gotcha companies that do this sort of thing where they either don't listen to their player base or they try and milk them for everything they have when they realize that they or they don't realize rather that they could make a lot more money doing the exact opposite and not only listening to what the people want because obviously the customer is always right but not you know <laughs> absolutely flooding people with banners because then I've people noticed, can refill so something i've noticed is it seems like the more successful a gotcha game is the more greedier they get and then like the lesser successful ones are like the super free friendly and it's like the most fun thing I ever played mm -hmm. so i'm going to use action time in it super it's small ip because it's a high ip <laughs> uh, but like i literally emailed nice. the devs asking if like i could get a sponsor for them and stuff like that and like yo yeah sure within 24 hours oh. and they gave me five thousand gems oh. and three million gold which three million gold is like hours and hours of farming and, like i still have gold to this day and like i've upgraded so much stuff it's like they gave that to me they're like they're super generous for your paid players and your free players are pretty good you know, it's a very good game, but, like, since it's such a small IP, it's never going to get the recognition, like, Grand Cross or something like that. Right. But then, like, you look at Grand Cross, it's, like, one of the top grossing gotchas out there, and it just treats the player base like utter crap. And then people are like, oh, my God, we get so many free gems, they're so good. Oh! Then they release 20,000 banners that you just can't physically keep up. Um, Doken Battle. They, eh, eh, uh, Doken is kind of there, kind of not, but they're just kind of like disconnected from the player base in a way. A little yeah. bit. Yeah. Uh, Legends. Yeah. Look, Zinkai, 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 Zinkai. Yeah. LF unit, LF unit. Of FGO. Yeah. FGO is like the top gross of gotcha of all time. They have the worst rates and the worst pity system known to man. Yeah. Right? It just seems like the more like money they make, the more greedy they get for some reason. I don't know what it is with these like companies. I guess you just get the taste of the money, like, oh man, we need more of that. Instead <laughs> we of, need more. <laughs> I of want more of that, please. <laughs> instead of treating the player base better, I think Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is probably like the one except like exception, because they kind of like they've kind of stayed oh, like yeah. super free to play friendly and like super pay friendly, mm. as even after being successful. Although they did take some things out that made it a little less free friendly. But uh, it's still like still like a super fun game to play and it's mm -hmm. super generous and stuff like that. But um, I'm trying to think, there's another game too I wanted to mention. Oh crap, 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 crap! I can't think. Oh, Tactics. I, I mean, this one's not really a big game, but Tactics Global came mm -hmm. out, player base went up, they're making more money. Boom! Let's nerf every single free to play like currency <laughs> method you have. Oh. Let's make free to play characters bad and stuff like that i'm not sure if they had to say mine to over making money let's get greedy or if they had the dev team change because that's like every day i tell people when global came out for tactics that's when the game went to trash hmm. because before like J jp um 
like it was JP only the month before Global came out. It was like they had like a Doken level celebration. Like they're giving out like multis worth of currency. You got like two guaranteed five stars for free, basically, as a free-to-play player. And then if you're a paid player, you just had an unlimited guaranteed five stars as long as you did multis. Because like you do like two or three multis, you get a guaranteed five star ticket, boom, you get to go. And it's just I don't know, man. It's just I feel like the more money they make, the greedier they get for some reason. It's weird. I think it doesn't help as well the fact that um, a lot of smaller gacha games, unfortunately, because they aren't a big name IP, I think also kind of contributes to it because I think that these companies realize, oh, even if our game is bad or our business model is bad, we can ride off of the fact that we have this name that is attached to the title of our game, and that is what's going to make us money regardless of how we treat our player base. That would be my guess, but then that also, like, drags the name of the, you know, like, property through the mud. I mean, I, for some companies, I'm sure it doesn't matter, but I know, like, um... You know, companies that are have their hand in Dragon Ball's rights, you know, if they pulled some BS like that and they saw how unhappy people were with some of these situations and how crazy the, <laughs> you know, the teams are acting that are running these games, I feel like they would, I don't know, do something about it. Maybe it's just that, um, you know, Seven Deadly Sins isn't the same thing. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. This company's weird, bro. I really don't know. Um, Mr. Talks, I, I know we've been going on for a while. Do you, do you have any other additive thoughts to this? Uh, Nebarbo sucks. We're done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Amen. No plays. You know, Grand Cross is cool. The Grand Cross is the worst of the Netmarble games. Don't, don't let them lie to you. Grand <laughs> cool game, but the people who run Grand Cross suck. Specifically global. Yeah. Specifically global. Yeah. So, JP has equal share of issues, too. I, it's just people tend to suck off JP more because her their global is bad is just such a huge meme at this point that right. like people keep running with it. <laughs> I mean, I guess that might be lucky for the JP devs. <laughs> keep in mind, keep in mind, keep in mind, JP released five banners back to back to back to back to back. They're just exclusive units that rarely will ever come back, and like there's not near as big of an uproar with that as there was with this. Hmm. I mean, I guess it is also just because more more people that we talk to or, like, you know, interact with more obviously play the global version because they can speak it. Probably, you know? yeah. Interesting. All right, well, I think that's probably everything we had. I know Gotcha's literally, his brain is melting over there. <laughs> All right, I, I think that's everything that we had, though, for the sake of the discussion. Um, obviously... You know, if you're a company or if you're a person who is looking to create a gotcha game out there, please do not operate your game like Global Grand Cross. Um, I wanted to make this video, obviously, not only to talk with these boys about it. Obviously, Ignit is very experienced when it comes to all the shenanigans of Grand yeah, Cross. Yeah, considering... yeah. Hit, us, hit, hit us with the closing line, bro. Let yes. me hear it. <laughs> oh, Give that's me weird. Guys. I... Thank you, Ignit and Gotcha, for joining me today. It's been your boy, Gotcha. Oh, God. That's <laughs> anyway, it's thank your boy. You, thank, you, thank you, boys, Gotcha and Ignit, for joining. Oh, you're welcome, dude. I'll join any time. Yes, this was an amazing time. Thank you so much, Ignit. This was fantastic. It's been your boy, Doken Assets, and we're out. Net, net marble. Net marble. Have a good one.